Hello. Good morning. Well, you may well be wondering what I am doing. Um, I keep my clothes on rails and uh, I live in a very small flat. I have two rails and I'm taking each rail out to inspect my clothes. For what, you may ask. Just watch this. So, do you see those little black marks? I, you, oh, I can do it here, that's better. <laughs> I usually, oh gosh, don't touch your hair, Joe. don't touch your hair. I usually have a cleaner, and because of the current situation, I haven't been having a cleaner. Um, but I am, you know, I clean my bath uh, after every time I've used it, but, Last night, I was about to get in the bath and I saw these little black specks in the bath. And I just thought, hang on, what are those? On close inspection, that's where I should be looking, I discovered that they were cloth moths that were coming up through my plug hole. Now, this block of flats, we have had an infestment of cloth moths uh, since I've lived here. And I have done everything to try and get rid of them. In my own flat downstairs, um, I had got rid of my carpets, my curtains. I had drawer liners, uh, cupboard liners, which I would refresh every day. I came into this flat, it was empty. Everything was uh, um, pristine. There was nothing here, it had been beautifully cleaned. And I assumed there's no carpets in here. Uh, that there would be, and there's no curtains, that um, I would be free from moths. And this is a warning, everybody, because this is the season when they are emerging from their eggs, and it's the eggs that do damage to your clothes. So I've just panicked and thought, oh my God, all my clothes that I have um, on the rail, um, I keep them on a rail rather than in the wardrobe, so there's air circulating and I shake them. I shake them all the time because uh, I don't want moths uh, to get in there. But my fear is I've enclosed loads of my clothes in dry cleaning bags and my fear is I have locked the moths in. So I'm just going to go through and show you what's happened. Oh, I'm furious. So, yes, I have really taken my eye off the ball. And um, some of my sweaters have been eaten by the moth. Um, you probably remember my lovely foxy sweater, which I'm so proud of. Now look at this. Look at the holes. Look. 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 So, that's that this is my what i call my christmas sweater i often wear this at christmas because i love it because it's cashmere and it's warm and it's got a lovely zigzag bottom look at this uh all the way down the back holes i don't know how much you can see oh lord this was one of my favorite ever cashmere French Bulldog sweaters from my agent and it's in, the holes are down the sleeves. I'm so upset about this. I am very apprehensive because I'm, I've put things in um, dry cleaning bags to protect them and my fear is that I've locked cloth moths in with them. So this is my, this is my cape, which I love, and I'm just looking. I always zip this up. Yes. So it's, they've just started there. I need to brush. It's just that one place. So I need to hang this outside. Oh and brush it. I'm now 
I'm very apprehensive because this is a coat that's made by Deploy, which is the same designer as my cape. And these are 100% wool, these items, and moths absolutely love wool. They love cashmere, and I'm holding my breath on this. Just having a look. It's the sleeves and round the bottom. No, that seems to be okay. So, remember I said, jokingly, but I do it, on, I do it intentionally, is I keep my Nicole Fari cashmere sweater, not sweater, skirt, sorry, I keep it in the oven in uh, Rora, uh, which is um, a cashmere store. They give you these bags that they don't give you, they sell you them. So I sometimes put my cashmere in the freezer, but at the moment it's full of dog food, so I can't do that. So I put cashmere in a bag in my oven. And this is my cashmere skirt, which is Nicole Fari. I love it. And again, I'm just, what dropped out? Something dropped out. Oh, I'm so scared that I locked the moths in. Just having a look. No, that seems to be okay, actually. Thank heavens. So yes, Brora will give you, will sell you bags. You can put your cashmere and put it in the um, oven. Sorry, I, I'm so cross with myself because I assumed I had no problems up here. So let me just tell you a little bit about cloth moths that I have learned over the years. So if you're not watching this in London, if you don't live in London, you may not have this problem. There is an infestation of cloth moth in London. I know we've got bigger worries uh, about what's happening in London and the rest of the world, but um, this is the time obviously we can sort out our wardrobes and everything else um, if you feel so inclined. Uh, I hadn't intended on sorting out my wardrobe at all until I saw the moths in the bath coming up through the plug hole. And I know that this is the season where they have um, laid their eggs and they're now flying off and it's the leg, the eggs, this is what I've been told, it's the eggs on the cloth that causes the holes. So you need to get everything out at the moment if you have a lot of cashmere and a lot of wool in your cupboard. I know that there will be comments under this going, oh, use lavender bags, I've used lavender bags, use, um, uh, gosh, uh, what, what, rosemary, I've used rosemary. Use conkers. I filled my tights full of conkers and hung them from coat hangers. None of that happened. None of it worked, shall I say. It, it all happened, but none of it worked. I'm getting so cross, I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, it's because I've been inside for so long. But there is nothing worse. You know, I treasure my clothes. I work hard for my clothes. I buy clothes that are quite expensive so that I can wear them year after year. All of this is cashmere. This is, for moths, an absolute birthday so you need to protect them and what I'm saying is all this stuff uh, to, that's lavender it honestly does nothing one of the worst things is that this which I use which I have I'm ashamed to say I actually have this uh, in my cupboard which is the zero in cloth clothes moth killer I am so apprehensive about using this because it's toxic stuff and I I really don't want it um, on my clothes um, and um, it seems that I, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go through every wardrobe and spray this stuff in um, which is not good for me or indeed for Matilda um, and uh, that's for me the only thing that works or freezing everything uh, from scratch and if you've got big freezers but you've probably all stockpiled, have you got room for your cashmere? Anyway. That's it, what a shame. Oh, the one thing that didn't have it, these are my cashmere, I love these, my cashmere tights. Uh, well, they're a cashmere mix, actually, and I love them. And they, oh. Yes, those are moth free. Anyone's got any comments that has nothing to do with lavender bags and conkers, please leave them below. Have a great week. <laughs>
I, just, I don't mean this to be negative. It's just that I've got time on my hands, so I can either darn, I've never darned anything in my life, or just go through my whole wardrobe now and inspect every single item. See you on Sunday. Bye.